Hey folks, how's it going? So this is a new video in my Python trick series. All right, so today I'm gonna talk about uh, a really cool feature in Python that is called uh, function argument unpacking. And uh, I'm gonna jump right into an example here. Um, and I really like this feature because it can um, make working with your code a lot easier. And it's, it's not super well known it can seem a little bit arcane, but really when you get to the bottom of it, it's it's a really helpful feature and um, I think you'll like this. All right, so what you'll know at the end of this video is how to use the Python function argument unpacking operators to uh, simplify your code. So the operators I'm talking about here are the uh, asterisk and double asterisk, or I guess double star um, operator. And I want to give you a simple example here. So let's say we have um, a function here that lets us print a, um, a vector and we just want it to print, um, you know, a nicely formatted vector. So this is just going to call the print function. And then I have some, uh, some uh, format string here that uh, lays out the vector nice and clean so that it's nice and readable. And we're just going to pass these components to um, to that string format. And uh, to give you an example how we might want to call this function, um, let's see, we have this vector here, it's a three component vector, we're going to print it and it's just going to look a little bit nicer, right? You know that now we know that's a vector and maybe we need that for some kind of output format or whatever, you know, it's a toy example, but I think it, it still has a bit of a useful purpose here. So now, uh, depending on how the depending on how we choose to represent these vectors in our Python code in terms of the data structure we use to store these vectors, it can get a little bit awkward if we want to print them. So let's say um, we've got uh, we've got our vector stored in tuples like this, or maybe we've got them stored in lists like this. Now, if we want to print one of those, it, it actually gets super awkward because now what I need to do, well, I need to give these indexes manually, right? I can't really concentrate. Uh, like I can't really talk while I'm typing. So bear with me for a second. Um, so, you know, if I want to print this vector, it gets kind of awkward. And sure, I could write a different function that would just take a tuple vector directly, but then what if my vector is gonna be re represented as a dictionary or something else? It gets really awkward. And this is where the function argument unpacking could become really helpful because function arg argument unpacking can do something really similar um, to what we've been doing here uh, manually, right? Where, where I was unpacking this tuple manually, there's actually shorthand to do that in Python. So what you can do here is um, I call the print vector function again. I can use the star operator, the unpacking operator, and just pass my tuple vector to that print vector function. And, and this line here is exactly equivalent to this line up there. So when I go ahead and call this, we get the result that we expected, right? Now, the cool thing is this would work in exactly the same way with our list vector as well. And it's even more powerful than that. So I can go ahead and, uh, for example, define a generator expression. So this is just going to generate a bunch of square numbers here for us. And, um, oh yeah, that was a typo. Da, da, da. 4x in range, right? So this is the generator expression that we have here. And now I can do the same trick on this generator expression. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna fully exhaust this generator and then pass it to the print vector function. So this is really handy because now we can transform all these different data sources and pass it to the same print vector function. And we don't have to implement, you know, 10 other versions of print vector, but we can reuse the same uh, print vector implementation that we wrote in the beginning. And so it's like, it's a way to, you know, to match together and connect these different pipes that might not have the same diameter, but you know, we can still connect them with the right adapter. And that is that uh, little star operator, kind of a crazy analogy, I guess, but you know, that's, that's maybe a good way to remember how this works. 
All right, so I mentioned the star operator, but there is also the uh, the double star or you know the dictionary unpack operator. So I want to show you how that works as well. So let's imagine we had uh, our vectors represented as dictionaries. So again, I'm just going to put in a bunch of uh, keys here that um, that give a name to uh, these components in the vector. All right, and now we've got our dictionary vector. Uh, and now, of course, we have a problem if we want to pass that to the print vector function, right? Because if I just do this, then, well, <laughs> that doesn't work. Um, can I index this? Not really, right? Like there's no key called zero. So that, that doesn't work. However, what we can do here is we can use the double star or unpacking operator to unpack this dictionary and it leads to the desired result, right? So this is pretty much what we expected here. And so the reason this works is because our print vector uh, function, you remember how we defined that earlier, um, it actually had these arguments here that were named x, y, z. So, so this is the reason why um, we can do this. So if they were named differently, it, Python wouldn't know how to match up these, um, these argument names. But in this case, it would work nicely. Um, and, and the trouble in general here is that there's no predefined order to these dictionaries, right? So we can't just say, oh yeah, you know, take the first key, the second key, and the third key, because there isn't really an order to them. It's it's uh, random, or I mean, it's not random, but it's arbitrary. Like depending on the machine you're running this on, there's no guarantees on how this is ordered. And, you know, big sidebar, like this is gonna change in Python 3.6, where dictionaries are gonna be ordered by default. For all intents and purposes, you shouldn't assume that they are ordered. So the only way we can do this is by matching up the argument names here. And to clarify that point on the dictionary argument order, so actually you might be wondering what happens if I use the uh, the list unpack operator to pass this dictionary vector to the print vector function. And what you can see here is that we're getting these, uh, we're getting just the keys. So this is a way to extract the keys, but we're getting them in, in random order, right? So this, um, this doesn't really work for that purpose because there's no order to these keys. Like they're appearing in a different order than in the initial dictionary expression that we had here. And so that's why we can use this trick or like the only way to use this in a sensible way is to use the double uh, asterisk unpack operator and uh, having these matching argument names. All right, so you know, you might already notice that there's um, a bit of a magic to this. So imagine having this, having to explain this to someone joining your team like every, you know, once a month. That would probably be pretty frustrating. And so it might not be a technique you wanna use in every single um, Python program that you write, but nevertheless, it's super important to know about these function um, argument unpacking operators because they can be such a great tool and they can be super helpful. And if you apply them within reason and, um, you know, keeping in mind that too much of a good thing can be a bad thing, they can be a fantastic tool in making your Python code more readable and uh, just making you, you know, a better, faster, more effective Python programmer. So again, super cool feature. And uh, basically this whole lesson, I've just been following along um, and pulling that out out of my new book called Python Tricks, the book. And it's available for early access right now. So you can get in on a beta version of the book and you're gonna get new chapters as they come out. And I'm gonna put a link to that in the description. So if you're interested, be sure to check it out. You don't have to obviously, but you know, I'd really appreciate it. And I think you'll really enjoy it. And I think it's gonna make you a better Python developer. All right, thanks so much for listening. I hope this helped you out and talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.